You may have seen this video of a water bottle freezing instantly in Kansas City during an extremely cold football game. The video is labeled water freezing instantly due to the cold weather. The question is, can this really happen? And the answer is yes, but with context. So let's verify. Our sources are me, a meteorologist, and a science experiment we are going to conduct here in studio to recreate the same exact reaction at normal room temperature. First off, the video is great, but even in very cold temperatures, a water bottle is not going to freeze like that, like a scene out of the movie The Day After Tomorrow. Instead, you may notice the bottle is taken out of the freezer, which means it is likely super cooled. Super cooled water is water that is below 32 degrees, but it is not yet frozen. You see, water droplets typically need something to stick to called condensation nuclei. Now, that being things like dust, minerals, or even other ice crystals. Pure water, though, like that you find in a bottle of smart water, if left undisturbed and it has nothing to stick to, can cool to below 32 degrees without freezing. Now, if the water is disturbed, those few ice crystals that do form will start to come in contact with each other and exponentially increase ice formation, even in room temperature. So I put this water bottle in here about two hours ago, and at this point it should be super cooled, meaning that it's still a liquid. Let's see if we can trigger some ice formation. All right, so give it a little bang. There it is. You can see the ice forming right down, just like you've seen in that video out of Kansas City. Now, look at that. It's already formed as ice. Started out as a liquid just a few seconds already get over. That's because those molecules have now been triggered to be in this uh, solid state. We even recreated this process a few more times with the same results. Now, I am sure that the cold temperatures, which were well below zero degrees, helped the ice formation along in this video, but it is not the sole reason why the ice formed like that. So we can verify this really can happen but solely because of the cold weather, not so much. With your Verify, I'm meteorologist Robert Spetta.